right, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the uh, material function, the water puddles that you should have downloaded. Uh, you can use this with any textures, but I'm going to use the uh, asphalt textures that are also for free on the Gumroad. So if you don't already, uh, just make a material. Should be pretty easy and simple. I'm just going to dock this. So grab your function and your textures, and you should be able to just drop them straight in. So this is my albedo, this is my packed RGB, and this is my normal map. You want to pipe your albedo through the base color. Uh, metallic. This is a height map, so you don't actually need to plug anything in here except your uh, scalar per per parameter. So this is your height. This is your roughness. And this is my ambient occlusion. I'm going to plug my normal map up to normals. And I'm going to make two scalar parameters. If you hold down S and click, it's going to give you a parameter. This is going to be specular. And then you can control W to duplicate that. And I'm going to set this to metalness. And I'm going to run both of these into here. And then you just plug this up. Base color, metallic, specular, roughness, and normals, and then AO. I'll go ahead and save this. So the material you just made Here's the material that I just made. I'm going to apply it here. Go to your vertex blending, your painting. Make sure you set it to your red channel. can't see anything right now because it's not lit properly but if you go to your material that you just made make a material instance apply this to the road and in your details panel you can double click not on the light on the mic double click it it's going to bring it up Now here's your water puddles. These are your parameters that you can modify. Let's go ahead and turn them all on. Obviously you want to turn the use of the water on. Let that compile and now you can start adjusting this stuff. Uh, the water specular, the AO will probably let you see, see it a little bit better if you don't have a scene set up with proper lighting. Uh, height power. You can control the fall off between the water and whatever surface you're painting on. The height contrast is similar. Be careful with the contrast because if you go below one, you'll see that the normals underneath the water will start coming through. So if you leave that at zero, you'll get a nice pristine surface. Uh, desaturate color, that's going to pull the saturation out of whatever surface you're painting it on, so beneath the water will be less saturated. Uh, roughness amount is going to be the roughness of the water. I would probably just leave that. Water metalness, obviously it's not metal, so you don't need to touch that. Uh, and the water AO, that's the ambient occlusion that's being applied to the surface beneath the water. And then the vert blend channel, this is specifically for painting. So if you're in your paint mode, you have three channels, red, green, blue. You have alpha, but alpha is not being used. All you do is select which one you want to paint in, and then obviously the switch to turn on the puddles.
So that's it. That's about as easy as it gets. So thanks.